What's going on guys, Cameron here, back at again with another video. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, consider subscribing, ding that notification bell so you be notified when a new video comes out and also swim over to that like button. I really appreciate all y'all giving me a thumbs up if you enjoy this video or a thumbs down if you don't. Um, either way, I appreciate it. Thank you for watching. Um, today I just wanna do a little quick update. It's been about a month since the last post. Um, there's been some things that happened in the fish room. Um, if y'all know or watch the weather, you know here, like if, especially if you knew um, where I'm from. I'm from Texas, South Texas, that past couple weeks have been crazy with work for sure. And then we had that winter storm that came in and knocked us through. I mean, I don't even know how to just explain it. It was crazy. Um, wasn't expecting that. We're not designed for that kind of weather down here for sure. Um, I'm definitely happy it's kind of warming back up a little bit. We never get snow, we never get any of that kind of freezing temperatures like we did. So a lot of people lost their homes, uh, pipes bust, water leaks, we lost electricity, stuff like that. I lost electricity for about two, two days, a little more than two days I think. Um, really sucked, but yeah, we'll make it through. Um, I hope everyone else out there that has lost a lot can push through and keep going and getting the rest of this year back to normal especially with covid and everything going on there's so many things going on at the same time but i hope everyone can get back on their feet do what you got to do i wish i could do something to help some um put a comment down below if you think i should do something or maybe we could figure out like a gofundme page for someone that's lost something um let me know um but yeah, like I like I said, I had lost power for about two days, so the fish room. Um, lost some, a couple casualties, I think. I lost a couple, unless they're still hiding, I haven't been able to find a couple Corridora in the 36 gallon. The pond, eh, it's hard to say, because the babies, they disappear, and the next day there's 15 new ones. Um, they're always popping out new ones and then you know, they kind of get eaten here and there um, Survival of the fittest So they're okay too because they're platys and sore tails They kind of can survive a little bit without the power stuff like that Biggest casualty is I no longer have any African dwarf frogs. I lost one a few months ago um, But this one I think it was just due because the tank is smaller. It got colder faster um I don't know, maybe it was sick before, but that helped it. It survived a couple days after we got power back, but I think with just how the temperature changed, might have gave them, might have caused something, I don't know. Um, so that tank's gonna have to get redone, rescaped with something new. So in this tank, um, these are the live food inlers, I guess. Um, sorry, the tank is dirty. I still need to clean it up. Um, some allergies growing here and there, which is why I got a near night snail in there, trying to help out with that. And I'll be rescaping this tank anyway, so I didn't really care about the algae too, too much. Um, but yeah, this was the frog tank. Now it has the inlers in there for now. I don't know what I'll do with it. I'm really upset frog is gone, but um, we just gotta roll with the punches and keep moving on. So we are gonna be doing something with this. Um, and here is the pond. As you can see all these guys in here, really doing well. Um, they haven't been break, I mean, if they are, making babies, they're uh, eating them. So I tried to throw some java moss down in there in the bottom to help with that, kind of keep the babies in there. There's also huge Anubius right there, dwarf uh, water lily, I believe that's what it's called, uh, right there. Some rocks, little brick cave over there. So they have a bunch of different hiding spots. I still probably need to add a couple more in here, another male, female pair or maybe just two females, just to uh, give a little more female population and then different colors too, because 
it seems like it's all the same color. Um, pretty funny. I don't see any sword tails besides the three main orange ones. And actually, well, yeah, that one's a male. That looks like a female. And then that one does look like a female as well. So we do have one male sword tail in there. So I don't know what he's doing. I guess not getting with the sword tails and instead getting with the platies. I don't know. Anyways, that's the pond. It's doing amazing. This will eventually be outside or I'll take it down, build it bigger. Let me know what y'all think. You think I should make it bigger, go with these same fish or just make a whole different one outside with different fish, maybe some goldfish or something. Something different that I haven't tried yet. Um, let me know, because I really like this thing. I don't really want to get rid of it. I don't want to break it, tear it down. It is, I mean, I built this thing all by myself. So it's just one of those things I don't want to get rid of really. <laughs> and it's worked out so well. It's been a couple years. What is it, a couple years now? I know it's definitely been over a year for sure. It might be almost two years now that I've had this. So I really like it. Sorry, I don't have my mic on right now. So I'm just gonna try to roll with the punches and see, hopefully y'all can understand what I'm saying and hear me over the tanks. So this tank here, um, still doing pretty well. Got some algae here and there, but the nearite snails are helping. And then I also just got two auto cats. They're in here somewhere. They love, uh, they love uh, staying on the, the leaves. The leaves on the back, I think I found one right there for you. So got that. And then I got a lot of these diamond tetra. There's about five of them. There's five of them in there. So they're really, really good. And that's it. That's all that's changed about this tank. So let me know what y'all think. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope y'all enjoyed. As always, I'll see y'all all on the next one.